on YouTube. Welcome to the shop. Um, I think it was late February, early March. Uh, I started uh, uh, changing out slowly um, all my fluorescence uh, to LED. I had uh, T5 high output fluorescence. Um, single light fixtures, basically that fixture right there. And you know, those things are, those things are pretty expensive. They're like $35 each. So I didn't want to get rid of them. So I looked and looked to try to find, you know, something I could just replace the bulb and actually came across the uh, three different bulbs to, uh, to, you know, that would actually you know, basically plug and play into the uh, T5 fixtures. And uh, one of them was uh, Lenora. I think that's how you pronounce it. And I just got one to start with because I wanted to see about what kind of light quality I did, you know, that I was going to get out of it before I you know, decided to invest in them. Besides, the bulb was really expensive. It was like, I don't know, I want to say it was like 18 bucks. I can't really remember now. But... Um, yeah, so I, I got it, got it off Amazon, and um, uh, it was freaking excellent. It was uh, surprisingly made out of uh, glass and metal. I mean, you really, you know, couldn't really tell a difference between that and a, a fluorescent. Um, very nice, very nice um, uh, bulb. So, you know, I wanted to get uh, more than one of them. And unfortunately, they would only sell them to me one at a time or, you know, like full price. They wouldn't give me a, a bulk discount, you know, say a 10 pack or whatever. <clears throat> so I had to, uh, you know, basically search for a replacement for that because I wasn't going to I wasn't going to spend 18 bucks per bulb, you know. Anyways, I came across, uh, I don't know if you can see that or not. It's called Lumagen, and it's actually a polycarbonate uh, replacement tube, again, plug and play. And I also came across another one called Sunlight. Um, and I got, uh, they sell those in, in 10 packs too. So, you know, I, I got a, a, well, the Lumagen is actually a little bit better deal because uh, it, uh, it comes in a 12 pack for about 120 bucks. The sunlight came down recently. It's about 140 bucks for a 10 pack. Uh, and, and like I said, the, the, the Lenora on Amazon anyways is really expensive unless they've come down. I haven't checked recently. Um, so yeah, I got those, um, but that wasn't enough to do everything I wanted to do in here. So, and I didn't want to, you know, spend $35 per fixture. Um, by the way, the uh, T5 high output are actually greenhouse uh, lights. Um, they're very high quality as far as build and stuff. So, but but I, but there again, I didn't want to spend thirty-five dollars per fixture plus a bulb. Um, so, I came across uh, a couple of different things. Actually, I came across uh, something called Barina. I think that's how you pr pronounce it, and they come in six packs. And that's what the vast majority of these are actually. They're not as high quality, um, not quite as bright, um, but they're but but it's a really really good value. Um, I think a six pack is about forty bucks, an eight pack is uh, fifty bucks or sixty bucks. I think so. It's a much better deal, and they're almost as bright. Uh, the Barinas are are twenty two watts. The uh, Lenora Sunlight and the Lumagens, they're 25 watt. Unfortunately, when I was uh, when I started doing this, I wasn't thinking about recording this. I mean, the upgrade for the lamps. So I didn't get a uh, before and after sh uh, shot up here and upstairs and downstairs. I've got a little bit, and I'll show you here and uh, after this. Um, and unfortunately, I do have a lux meter, and it's like there again, I did not even think about doing a, a reading of before and after to see how much uh, improvement. All I can say is like, it's 
you know, as the cliche says, it's night and day. I mean, even when people come in here, they haven't been in here for a while after they've, you know, they're like, <laughs> so one person asked me if I painted. It's like, no, I just, I just added more lights basically. So this is what little bit of uh, before and after I've got. This is downstairs. Those are the T5 high output fixtures, the 54 watts basically. I had already taken a few down. There was three more up. I didn't, you know, it was adequate, but it wasn't too many shadows. It was just too hard to work in that. And as you can see, I'm adding some more. And you can, you can tell from that, you can see how it's just starting to add more light. <clears throat> that was the original way I had them up. The little clips that came with it kept falling out for these because it was suspended. And that's just the nylon I was using to hold it up. So yeah, I had to use a different way to suspend them because that, that, this, these little clips, you can get them at Home Depot. They work so much better. I like the ones with the single hole though better because it's just less work. And some zip ties just like that, man, and they ain't going anywhere. Because one time I dropped something upstairs and a couple of them popped out and broke. So it's pretty much almost done. There's a couple more in there that ha that I still need to add. It's hard to tell in there which ones are which, but there's, you know, the Barinas and then there's uh, the actual T5 fixtures. There's, there's a few more Barinas than there are T5s in there. I put the T5s in the center because they're a little bit brighter. That, that few extra watts does make a big difference. And the only, you know, shadow I got left is over the Milwaukee box but I that you know I'll take care of that in a little while but it looks so much better in there it's so much easier to work I highly recommend these you know this kind of upgrade and I also highly recommend getting light in the 5 or 6500 Kelvin it's a white light or a cold uh, light it, you can just see so much more detail, the warm or the orangey reddish light, it, it messes up detail big time. I, I tried little experiments and stuff and you can just see so much better. And I had a little uh, T5 two foot fluorescent in there and I took out and put these little LED strips in there and that's more than adequate. I actually wanted to use uh, uh, um, uh, thought about putting an actual fixture up there like a T5 fixture but uh, this this worked out great for that it's you know that it, it takes up it they're very thin also the cost factor for um, uh, the strips is a little higher since you have to add cords and wires and power supplies and one nice thing about these type of lamps is you can daisy chain six of them in a row. Okay, so here's another type of uh, fixture, all-in-one fixture. It's called Hypericon. The names they come up with is amazing. Anyways, I don't recommend these ones. They're, they're really expensive. They're in four packs. Um, they're like 60 bucks for four and it's only 18 watts doesn't produce nowhere near the light that the other ones it is a bit smaller but I don't like them these ones are the square barinas and then these are the round ones I don't know what why there's there's a difference but the six pack is round eight pack is square I, I don't know I also thought about using this type of strip but the light output was that about about that of the uh, Hypercon and the cost with the transformer and the wiring and stuff was more close to the T5 fixtures so I didn't go that way. almost forgot the channeling cost extra on this too so it's a lot more expensive to go this way although you can customize it so that's that's a nice thing. I'm not sure if anyone's interested in this information or not but the uh, the sunlight and the Barinas are in 6500 Kelvin. The Lenora, um, I think the Hypercon, and the Lumigen are 5000 Kelvin. I prefer 6500 if I can get them, but you can't always get it. Uh, I stay away from anything else and everything else. 
Also, there will be links in the description below to some of this stuff, like uh, um, the sunlight and the Lumagen bulbs and uh, the Barina, uh, the two different package deals that, that are there. Yeah, so if you're going to be upgrading, say, your T12, T8, T5 fluorescents or whatever it is you're using, the LEDs, if you know if you're not looking for, for say flat panels or something if you're looking for this I, I you know I think the um, barinas are you know the best value I mean it really always all boils down to um, longevity um, I've only had these a few months the ones upstairs have, have been running since uh, probably early March and no problems there is one thing though when you turn these on and off the lights I mean I mean the the T5 ones, since they have a better electronics in them, they have a, you know an actual ballast in them. Um, they turn on, uh, you know, like a incandescent. Whereas the Barinas, they take about a half a second. So you can there is a, a delay. So that also tells me maybe the power supplies may be a little on the weak side. But I haven't had any problems with them. So so far so good. Okay, so in closing, if you're looking for the best bang for the buck, I think it's Barina. If you're looking for the most uh, uh, light output, it'd be the T5 with either you know the, the Sunlight, Lenora, or EBL makes a 30 watt version. So it's going to even be even more bright, but it's also the most expensive route. I don't really like the Hypercon or the lead strips. Lead strips just cost too much and the Hypercon just cost too much with very little light output compared to the other ones. And like I said, lead strips, they just, you know, they, they're also time consuming to put everything together. Alrighty, until next time, have a good one.